Yo, YouTube, what's going on? AB Academy, it's your boy Avery B. Today we are back with episode three. I'm about to tell y'all why motivation is making you poor. As you can see, we're in a different scene. If you've been following these days, I'm doing every day in a different scene just to figure out which one I like the most, figure out our set location, man. So, as y'all can see from that title, man, I'm telling y'all why motivation is keeping you poor. A lot of people ask me every day, AB, how you stay motivated? AB, what you do for motivation? AB, I'm lacking motivation. AB, can you help me with motivation? And every time I try to tell them, bro, it's not about that, you feel me? Motivation is making you poor. With these titles, bro, I'm trying to, like, grab y'all in and pull y'all motherfuckers out so I can let y'all know what I be feeling, man. So, the reason I say motivation is making you poor, bro, is... People rely on motivation to achieve their goals. People rely on motivation to try to do what they want to do, right? So a lot of people, they like, they don't do shit unless they get motivated until they get motivated. And that shit just fucked up. Because I guarantee you, bro, nine times out of ten, bro, you're not going to be motivated to do this shit. You might have a month where you hella motivated, you waking up early, da 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 getting to it. But I guarantee you, bro, that shit's going to run out so motherfucking fast, nigga. That shit's going to run out so fast that... When you're not motivated, you ain't gonna wanna do it, right? So instead of wanting, instead of having motivation, bro, instead of relying on this thing called motivation that we all like to say, instead of typing on Google motivation, instead of looking for the biggest spike of motivation, dopamine, nigga, you gotta build something called discipline. You gotta build that D word, nigga. And no, I'm not talking about no freaky shit. You gotta build your discipline, bro. And I'm gonna teach y'all ways and how to build your motherfucking discipline. Oh, way number one to build your discipline. Do hard shit. Literally, I just got done working out. If y'all don't know, bro, I am on a fucking knee brace. It's hard as shit to wake up and still do productive shit. But I know that when I get out of this knee brace, it's going to be 10 times easier to go work out. Because I proved to myself that even on the knee brace, that I was capable of doing hard shit. Doing hard shit also just teach you and just train your mind that even though it's hard, you can still accomplish it, bro. A lot of times we lie to, lie to ourselves, bro, and ourselves is the worst person to lie to. Have you ever told yourself like, oh yeah, tomorrow I'm going to wake up early, I'm going to get this, this, this done, tomorrow come, you wake up late as shit. That's lying to yourself. So when you lie to yourself, yourself kind of like stop trusting you, bro. And trusting yourself is the worst thing not to have. You got to trust yourself, bro. So... I suggest what y'all do, bro, is get three things that you want to do, right? And stay tuned to the end. I'm going to tell y'all the most easiest way to become disciplined and stop relying on that bullshit motivation that you have two times a month. But find three things that you want to do, right? Write them bitches down and check them hoes off every every day. Every day, check them bitches off. It's going to be hard at first, but you're going to see. You're going to become the notice. Every day, you're going to check that bitch off and it's going to become easier and easier. For example, have you ever went to school and you had to wake up early because you had to? The first time you wake up early, say you're coming off a summer break. That first morning, hell. You know what I'm saying? You're waking up early. Ah, fuck. That second morning, hell. Ah, shit. That second month is easier because you used to it. You in the habit of doing something that was hard at first. You feel me? Everything that starts off hard eventually becomes easier, man. And you just got to work that in to your goals and your habits, making them shits good. You feel me? That's all you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Do that hard shit. You feel me? Work out, nigga. Eat healthy, nigga. Do that hard shit that's going to make you better. Two. Set your environment for success. If y'all can see my environment, bro, like, how can I not be successful? Look at this shit, bro. I can't even make this shit up. This shit is literally just on here, bro. How to master your energy. Ultimate beginner's guide to stocks. Getting rich. Like, bro, I can't make this shit up, bro. Hustle, execution, grind. I can't, like, bro, honestly, this shit wasn't even planned, bro. Got the MacBook right there. Got my YouTube. It's not even planned, bro. It's just, like, my environments are set for me to succeed. Look at this shit over here, bro. I don't want to show y'all too much. My environments are set for me to, like, anytime I wake up and come up here, bro, I have no reason but to be in that mood, bro. Like, to be in a grinding aspect and mindset, bro. You feel me? The ways you can set your environment, man, just get rid of bullshit. A lot of y'all, y'all probably wake up, you got snacks on the side of your bed, you got bullshit, you probably got alcohol, you feel me? I just came back from spring break, bro. This is a true story. This shit happened last night. I just came back from spring break. I had a couple bottles in my fucking, um, y'all know the bottle. I had liquor in my um pantry. I live by myself. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I got my own house. I got liquor in my pantry. My cousin came over. You feel me? I was like, hey, his, his, him and his girlfriend, I was like, hey, y'all take them bottles. They were like, what the fuck, for real? Like, take both of them bitches. I don't need them. You feel me? Because I don't want that shit in my environment. Even though I know I ain't going to go in there and take no goddamn shot, I don't even want to go in there and look at that shit, bro. Same with sugar. I don't want no sugar around me. You feel me? I'm trying to get into my healthy diet shit. You feel me? I'm just trying to be better overall. That's why I made this channel because I want y'all to be on that same purpose. Set your environment up for success, bro. So anything that contradicts your success 
Anything that fuck your success up, take that shit the fuck away, bro. You know what I mean? If video games fuck you up, throw that shit. The only reason I got this is for my stream. I play five of them sometimes on Twitch. You feel me? So that's kind of work. You see what I'm saying? But anything around me that's not work-related, bro, I don't want that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll probably do routine, like, checkups to see what's around me. To see what I can remove, cause I don't want that shit around me. You feel me? Every day I wake up, I need productivity. I need, I need to get to it, bro. This world, this world ain't gonna wait on nobody, bro. You feel me? Time, time ain't on our side. We gotta get to it. You see what I'm saying? You gotta get to it. So step number two, bro, is make your environment work for you, not work against you. You feel me? Rule number three. This might be the most important rule. Kit, I say kit. Keep and get people to hold you accountable, bro. Get accountability partners. An accountability partner is basically somebody you tell that you want to do something, and they do it too. And if y'all falling off, if y'all not doing it, bro, they on your ass. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of times where you can say you're going to do something, but you're the only person holding you accountable. And like I told y'all earlier, if yourself don't trust yourself, you might fall off them motherfucking goals. So if you got somebody by you that's doing the same shit, that's holding you accountable, you more likely to do it, bro. It's a study. I forgot the study name, but it's basically... um. They have factories. I'm going to give y'all a brief description. You feel me? They have factory workers, and they had the boss come in that bitch. Every time the boss come in the factory, the factory productivity went up. Every time the boss left, it went down. He did this to everywhere. You feel me? Every time he went to the office, to the factory, their productivity went up. So that means if somebody watching you, watching what you do, you're going to do better. You feel me? Which is kind of crazy. But until you can build that motherfucking discipline, bro, you feel me? Until you can build that discipline, get you some accountability partners. Which is kind of crazy because sometimes people don't be on the same type of drive, ambition we own. But it's all good. I got y'all. Problem in my life, bro, I realized, like, people might not want it as bad as me. Because I want this shit so, so much. You feel me? And it might be the same for y'all. Like, y'all friends and shit, they probably don't want it as bad as y'all. Which, I'm not going to say it's okay. But you can't blame them, bro. You feel me? You can't force nobody to want it more than they want it. You see what I'm saying? So... For that, to combat that, man, I got my own community called AB Academy. And there, I just want like-minded individuals on their purpose, on their grind, inspiring and motivating people every motherfucking day. You feel me? And speaking of the three things, what I was talking about earlier, we about to have monthly challenges starting, what month is it? Starting in April, we having monthly challenges. So every month, every day of that month, we're going to have challenges that you got to check off every day. And we're going to check into the community. We're going to do live calls. And we're going to check in and make sure everybody on their purpose, everybody on their path. So if that sounds interesting to you, man, click that link in the description. And let's join up AB Academy. Let's make this year the best year of our motherfucking lives, man. Let's do it. Hopefully this video motivated you enough to turn that bullshit into discipline. Luckily for you, I'm hosting monthly discipline challenges for you to build your discipline muscle live with me. Don't miss out. Click the first link in the description. The first challenge starts in five days. Look forward to seeing you there.